Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on personal notifications so you never miss out on a post of ours. So we have had a few games over the international break and there has been lots of action all across the world. Uh, some games being friendlies and others being qualifiers for the 2023 World Cup. So. Before we get into that, um, there's been some other news around the world of football this week. Uh, Leicester City have announced that they have parted ways with manager Jonathan Morgan after the team's poor start to the season where they are yet to pick up a point in the WSL, which um, I think was really harshly uh, done, but they've been close at times to getting that point or... Uh, first win but they just haven't been able to hold on long enough in games um, Emil Heskey has been put in charge for the time being whilst the search for a manager goes on uh, Tottenham Hotspur announced that Kit Graham will miss the remainder of this season after sustaining an ACL injury which is obviously absolutely horrible news and we never want to see that happen right let's get a quick roundup of what's happened around the world in uh, the scores so uh, on Thursday, the Republic of Ireland and Slovakia drew 1-1, Sweden beat Finland 2-1, Spain put 12 past the Faroe Islands as Northern Ireland put 11 past North Macedonia. There was also a massive scoreline and the biggest uh, to date as Belgium beat Armenia 19-0, yes you heard, 19-0 with Tessa Willard scoring uh, about 5, maybe even 6 of the 19 goals for Belgium there. Elsewhere, Norway put seven past Albania, and then over these past few days, um, Switzerland have beaten Italy in probably the shock of this weekend so far. Wales beat Greece 5 0, France beat Kazakhstan 6 0, Slovenia beat Estonia by the same scoreline, and then on Saturday, England managed to beat Austria 1 0, with Ellen White scoring the only goal of the game on her 100th appearance. So, Serena Wiegmann's side have kept up a 100% record uh, so far in this qualifying stage winning all five games and the final game that's worth talk about was between the Czech Republic and the Netherlands in a game that finished 2-2 and the big friendly of this past weekend um, has saw Australia take on the US and it was the USA winning 3-0 with Ashley Hatch scoring the third fastest ever goal in US women's national history after just 34 seconds and goals from Rose Lavelle and Lindsay Horan gave uh, Vlatko Andonovsky's side the all-important win um, so uh, no big big surprises I would really say apart from that Switzerland-Italy game but um, yeah still more action to go before we head back to uh, Conti Cup action here over in England and the final of the FA Cup which you can still get tickets for this season's FA Cup final uh, which is on Saturday the 5th of December uh, over 40,000 tickets have already been sold and uh, it's going to be absolutely incredible to see as many fans as possible at Wembley Stadium uh, in just over a week's time or maybe just no, in about a week's time um, so that will be incredible to see and finally uh, earlier on this week the list for the FIFA Best Awards was announced um, the five or the nominations for players are Stina Blackstenius, Aitana Bonmarti, Lucy Bronze, Magdalena Eriksson, Carolina Graham Hansen, Penilla Harda, G So Yon, Sam Kerr, Viviana Miedema, Ellen White, Alexia Puteas, and Christine Sinclair. Now, for me, the obvious one is probably Alexia Puteas, who's had an absolutely phenomenal year with Barcelona. Also, up there, you're going to include Viviana Miedema for what she's done over the past 12 months and then um, probably Aitana Banmarti becoming third. Then coaches, we've got Cortez of Barcelona, Bev Priestman, Serena Wiegmann, and Gerhard Hardson as well. And then goalkeepers, we have uh, Anne Katrin Berger, Christina Endler, Lab, Lindahl, and Nea as well. So their awards will be taking place, I think, over the next month or two um, before or maybe just into the new year, I can't remember when the voting is, uh, yeah, early in the new year, uh, the voting for that. So that is all the news and stories from around the world of women's football. We'll be back later in the week to give a full wrap-up of 
the next few days of international football and any more news that comes out of the world of football and until then like i said at the start make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss out on a post of ours and follow us on twitter at women's football talk for all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football and until next time we'll see you soon mm -hmm.